one gallon, one and a half gallon, one and three quarter gallon, and two full gallons. <laughs> this is just from this morning. We have a lot of milk every single day and we're just now starting to get either the energy or just the, we gotta do something different with our milk. So all of Kelly's cow mamas said that this is the book to get for making cheese. We haven't done it yet, but we got the correct book for that. But first, what we're going to do today is we're going to skim the milk. Actually, I think we've already skimmed some milk, skim the cream, and then we're gonna make some butter, and then we have two more things to do today. It's a, it's a big, we keep on doing these inside days, but I think that's just this kind of season that we're in. Kelly's gonna join us in a moment. How's the, how's the baby? How's, how's the mama? How's the mama? I think glad now that I have food. <laughs> like emotional breakdown over nothing. So welcome to 31 weeks pregnant. <laughs> all the feelings and all the food. <laughs> you have your glass of milk over there. Mm-hmm. And then sitting on what this, we're gonna show you this. Hey, blue band-aid. Okay, so this is how we currently make butter. We do it in the food processor. We don't have a butter churner, but this keeps things where it actually happens with a lot less mess. All right, so here is our cream. Uh, one thing to know is Goldie, our cow, is really not on any kind of fresh grass. Here in Texas, on our seven acres, there's not a lot of green. So our cream and our butter will be more yellow come spring and summer than it is currently. It's not quite yellow. Typically try to fill this up about halfway, otherwise it starts spilling out. So that should be good. This should get us at least two sticks of butter. All right, so basically I'm trying to get out of the way so that you can hear me. What this is gonna do is it's just gonna be churning and it's first gonna turn into whipped cream and it's gonna take a long time. A lot of people just set their cream out to warm up and that's probably the best thing to do. I'm not doing it today because we got a lot of stuff to, to do. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to be able to churn this, which is fine. I don't really care. It'll, it'll still take long, it'll still take longer us uh, setting on the counter and letting it warm up. So I've done this several times and it's okay. Then once it goes into the cream, then it'll go into the buttermilk will separate from the butter. All right, let's see. Nope, not even close. Uh. All right, let's check. So right now, so we've hit the whipped cream stage. Liquidy. I think that's it. What'd you say? You're what? I'm not making butter. I'm building the baby registry. <laughs> Come help me make some butter after you do that. I know. It's just such a one person job. You're so good at it. What? I'm so much lazier than other homesteaders. All right. So there we go. That's what you want is for the butter to separate from the buttermilk. Or maybe you're saying you want the buttermilk to separate. All right, so once it gets separated, then what you gotta do is strain it. Uh, you gotta separate the buttermilk from the actual butter. And put this buttermilk in here. And then you definitely want to label this buttermilk because I have gone in there and grabbed what I thought was milk 
I took a swig of it and it was not milk. Buttermilk does not taste like milk. Yes. Uh, so I do our Berkey water with our Berkey ice cubes and I pour this Berkey water, so filtered water through the ice to be able to make sure that it's nice and cold. And then basically you just got to work it until the water runs clear so that all of the buttermilk is out. You just use a wooden spoon. So you just kind of do this and you just want to tighten it up. Oh yeah. The other day I, I tried this and we were out of ice and it was a lot meltier. So the water definitely, you definitely want the water to be cold because what that does is it stiffens up the butter. It makes it a lot harder, which is easier to work with. More firm, I get. Goldie's not really on a lot of grass. She's, because here it's in Texas. It's okay, yellow. It's like a little bit. It's yellow. kind of, yeah. I want it to be super yellow. I pour out this water into the sink, and then I add fresh water. And it's harder to tell, the more you're pushing the butter around, I think it's harder to tell because the glass has the butter fat on it, you know? All right, so, see that water there? It's a little clearer. That's not bad. No, yeah, it's just these things that... Have to get done. Yeah. I mean, this is real life, y'all. This is what our life is. So, last week, we did not have any videos because uh, uh, we were traveling for dentist appointments, but this week is like all that backed up. So, if you want the real <laughs> life Brotherton farm life, um, this is it. This is what we do, especially now with this cow. And we didn't even video filtering the milk this morning. No. Yeah, yeah, ooh, tastes up. Yeah, buddy. See how it's kind of like one normal shape? Now I'm gonna fold it over just a little. Can you do something similar to the end? Kind of like Play-Doh. Basically like one big stick. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Oh, well. So on the other end, I want you to kind of push it up like this. We wanna keep it kind of together. Oh. Looks like a cannoli. What's cannoli? Like, like Italian pastry. So maybe like that. Is it good? Yeah. I need to go. Okay. All right, now. Ollie, yes. Will you go put that in the studio freezer? Okay. Thank you, buddy. It just goes in the door, and then just make sure that the door is good and shut. Oh, yeah. oh. The next thing, our chickens are laying. And they're laying quite well. Here is one basket of eggs. Messy porch here, basket of eggs, and then way over there beyond the dead garden and the forest are all of our other birds. And there's probably a whole nother basket full of eggs. So Kelly is in her pregnancy spot, and this <laughs> is my what pregnancy it, spot. What is our not to be confused with where I got pregnant. It's just where I sit as a pregnant person. It's a what great is... angle. There's just nothing but good angles here. Just remember. What? <laughs> this is also not great. Is our top <laughs> preservation method for all of these eggs. Okay. All right. I do want to try water glassing. We've never done that before. But I will say this. The freeze dryer and making most of many eggs in small space that is the key to like tiny house living and preserving food i don't think i'm ever going to go back like leftovers from dinner preparing food ahead of time something easy to just reconstitute with water like the eggs the eggs in the freeze dryer what did you do like 50 eggs oh it's a it takes a lot of eggs i mean this is Prob so there are four there's probably quart size close to trays. four dozen eggs because the trays are quart dryer. sized right i yeah. think you can fit a quart of liquid in each of the trays and then you put so you're putting like a gallon of liquid eggs into the freeze dryer 
and you're getting out this powder that we're going to use for long-term storage, but you could use it quickly too if you so, needed it. Can you help? Can you and Ollie yeah. help? You want to you want to oh, help? Oh, go get them. Here, you're going to want some. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the It's going to be cold. Mitts. You wear the gloves. I'll take these. But yes, you yeah. can be drawing and Daddy sees what you're doing. So there's the freeze dryer. All the eggs are in there. It's a big fat mess. You made it really easy for I, us to get to it. I did. I did. But sneak little peek. A lot happening in the studio. It's a pre-tour tour. Pre-tour. Pre this isn't really a tour, but there's an extended desk. There is a kitchen over there. There's a bed. There is a Murphy bed and some shelving. More to come on that later. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to push the button. Uh, wait, hold on. Extra dry. You hit extra dry? No, it's on extra dry. Oh, it's not done yet. Extra dry time. Okay, so we were not ready yet. I thought this was totally going to be ready. Okay, let's go Switch. do the we'll do, go do the seeds. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and then we'll come back to this. I thought it was gonna be done. So sorry. So we're probably not going to. Hey, wait. This is a big day. So many things know, have to get done. That's what I'm today. saying. Like, I know. Uh, we usually do this, but not all at once. Correct. Well, that's why I was like. Correct. Well, that's why I was like. This is cool. I'm excited about this. So uh, a buddy of mine, Daniel. Shout out to Daniel. He said that this was one of the best seed starting little Kit. kits that he has found. It's from Park Seed Gardens, or just maybe just Park Seed. So let's check it out. Oh, wow. Wow. It's a system. So this is what the little pods, aha. Then what you have is it comes with these pods. So here are the pods right here. But take these pods, this is side up. So you put them in these, and then you fill this up with water. And so it waters from beneath. So we're trying to figure it out. Kelly is I'm finding which seeds. It it's called the Parks, that's what it's called. The Park Seed Biodome. Welcome to Biodome. Welcome to the future. So Daniel is like big into hydroponics and stuff like that. So then you have the biodome part of it. Goes over this. Okay, I think I have it. There we go. Okay, you got, so I think we get like 60 of them. Super. So it says that I need to put however many of these things into water to absorb the water. Oh, this thing feels like it's gonna break. But maybe it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the water so that you let it soak for 15 minutes and they're supposed to swell up. All right, our time is up. I don't think the greens do well. Look, listen. So in so like you don't seed start with this. But I don't think when it's gonna I work. Get my last greens? I might have another freeze in two weeks. We can try it. We can try it. I actually know you can do greens. Yeah, we're good. Shut up. <laughs> there was no hesitation there. Shut up. I get it. I get it. It's not shut up. It's mm, no, it's it's no. let the conversation. <laughs> Baby, I'm so. I maybe have never identified with you as much as I do right now. Because <laughs> I get it. You're like, okay, I said yes. Let's move on. Instead of what I was feeling this morning that left me in like weepy tears. No one sees me. Everybody fights with me. I get it. Okay, so no joke. I actually think that reading the instructions is kind of interesting because it's funny. It says, how to sow in park seed bio sponges. That's the little sponge things right here. Park bio sponges are the product of the most up-to-date growing technology and will enable you to grow strong, healthy seedlings with minimum effort. Each tray contains 60 individual plugs. Each plug has been pre-dibbled. <laughs> Dibbled, that's the word that they use, pre-dibbled. 
so that a hole is already present for seed sowing. Just drop one or two seeds in each hole, place in a favorable location, and wait for plants to emerge. The holes need not be covered with additional media after sowing. Each plug provides the optimum environment for germination. How you doing, babe? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, Kelly is still doing the seeds right here. I'm gonna take these freeze-dried eggs and put them in the Harvest Right Mylar bags. Y'all, that means that we will have farm fresh eggs. Now, of course, it's not like you can't do runny yolk, but for things like scrambled eggs or recipes. just recipes, we're gonna have eggs that can be shelf stable for like 20 plus years. And I know these are not all of our seeds. No, we got a lot more. I know, so many. So are you liking this system so far? I guess, I guess it depends on if it anything actually yeah, grows. Yeah, I don't think, like, I think sure. Who doesn't love a nice long row of jalapeno peppers, but. <laughs> So it probably would be good to like run these through the food processor and make them powder mm -hmm. so that you could just do a scoop. But our food I think processor. You do that later though. Yeah. Food They're processor just, is dirty. It is dirty. If you had not made butter the morning mm -hmm. before, run these through we the food processor. Fill the tray with a quarter to one half of water or by sprinkling misting. They're so lazier than other homesteaders. So lazier? You know what I want? Spritz it, babe. Spritz it. What do you want? I want um, a jumpsuit, a velour jumpsuit that says "so lazier," and on the rear would say "than other homesteaders." Like, remember those juicy couture velour jumpsuits? You know what I'm saying? I Does feel it like say it, like on your butt? Remember the ones that would say like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> One done. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do it with you. Okay, so go hold on, wait. Let's make sure. Yep. Okay, so you wanna like do this and make it flat like that. Then look, do you see these two yep. indentions there? Yep. You want it to sit like right Up in them. Yep. So right there. And then look at the look at the light over here until it turns green. Oh, it turns off. Okay, let go. Cause it burns. Look, you feel this. That's hot. Feel that. <sighs> you feel it? Ow! Ow. My <laughs> face. See, it's all sealed up. Twenty years. I love like Twenty how... years. Wait, that's how much it lasts? Yeah. That's a long time. That's a very long, so you, I can hand this down. This can be your wedding present. When you get married, I say, here you go, son. Oh, you got 10 more years left to these, these eggs. Go, you can give it to your wife. <laughs> and your wife's gonna be like, who is that crazy man? And you're gonna say, that's my, my uncle. <laughs> I think that would be teary. I need to get salmon out. And Babe, we did it! Big homestead yeah, day. Yeah. Okay. That it made all the difference for our homestead, babe. You did it! Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Good job, team. I totally forgot, and I'm going to edit the video. What did you plant yeah, you in the seeds? Yeah, what did you actually okay. plant? There's tomatoes, tomatillos, ground cherries. So I kind of put those together. A couple varieties of cucumbers, and then two kinds of peppers, like a jalapeno and a pepperoncini, and then a whole row of the eggplant, the Japanese eggplant. We've never grown those, but they look really good. 60 seeds. Good job, 60 well, plants. Well, 120 Well, yes, seeds. we're trying to get 60 two plants. Two in each thing, yeah. and then 60 on the grid. All right. But if we do those now, then I think in a couple weeks we can put them in the garden and start another round we just have a lot of garden space, so yeah. it's time. We'll let you know how we like the park seed little biodome. Mm -hmm. uh, something you said it would be nice if it had some sort of labeling. Like markers. Don't call it a kit if you don't have, like, you need to have the marker label thing. I, I think so. I feel very strongly about it. I do. I do. Let's try it over here.
You have to have your mouth open for YouTube. <laughs> the thumbnail's no good. Why am I so white and you're... Oh, because you have a hat on. Well, oh. <laughs> no, no, not better. No. Uh.